to get our AWS EC2 instance migrated over to Azure, what we're going to do is replicate that instance. So that being said, the any images of replicated VMs from the AWS side need to be held somewhere in Azure. So what we need to do is create a storage account to hold those images of those replicated VMs. Because the Azure VMs that get spun up are actually going to be created from the storage when we fail over from the AWS side. So what we're going to do here in this lesson is create a storage account that's going to hold the images of any replicated AWS EC2 instances. On the screen here, I have a blank dashboard that I've provisioned, and I called it Migrating from AWS. As we provision resources, we'll pin them to this dashboard for easy access. So to create our storage account, what I'm going to do here is create a resource, and I'm going to search for storage account. We'll select storage account from the resulting list, and we'll create it. Now, of course, I have to deploy my resources into a subscription, so everything we deploy is going to go in the lab subscription. And what we're going to do is select the AWS Migration Resource Group that I created earlier ahead of this lab. What we need to do here for storage account name is give our storage account a name that is actually unique across all storage accounts within Azure. Not just my own tenant or my subscription. The name needs to be unique across the entire Azure landscape. What I'm going to do here is call this AWS Migration 9878. And we can see here we get the green check mark, which tells us that we're good. What we're going to do for this lab is deploy everything into Central US. Now, as far as the performance, account kind, and replication go, we can leave these all at their default settings. Those defaults being standard performance, and the account kind for our storage account is a storage v2 account. And we're going to leave our replication at RAGRS. We'll leave our access tier set to hot here. And then we'll go ahead and create the storage account. So what this storage account will do is host the replicated VMs from the AWS side. So we'll let this finish. And then I'll see you over in the next lesson where we'll create a vault.